I'm not kidding. Please take it seriously, literally. When I tell you I haven't seen that film, it's too traumatic for me to see myself like after you saw that crazy guy making the point of but ask Judith Butler or Sam Weber or whatever, my automatic association is like if some of you are old enough to have children, would you allow that guy to take your daughter to cinema? I mean, only one answer. So let's do some theory. Since I am usually identified as referring at the same time to Freud and to Marx, I would first like to distantiate myself from the traditional Freudo-Marxism. What is wrong about Freudo-Marxism? I think it relies on psychoanalysis precisely for the wrong ideological reasons. The problem of Western Marxism was, of course, why is there no revolution? That is to say, if the Marxist analysis is right, why then don't workers organize themselves into a communist party, revolt, take power, and so on, and so on? Here, I think Western Marxists made an opportunistic compromise via their reference to psychoanalysis. Instead of critically reviewing their socio-economic analysis, they tried to save them or to avoid the theoretical duty of self-questioning through reference to Freud. Like, no, no, our analysis is correct, our socio-economic analysis, why then the working class doesn't revolt? Ah, ask Freud. Your own analysis is 